We are exploring the Arkansas Museum of Natural Resources in Smackover, Arkansas. Yeah, you heard that right, Smackover. In part one of this two-part program, I have explained how this town got its name. But let's have a look at the museum now. Here we get to a little tunnel that gets you in an elevator. Unfortunately, in the elevator, it was too dark to videotape. But this elevator gets you into a different area of this museum. And on the way up, which is very slow, you get an animated idea on how oil was formed. Here we are out of the elevator in another area of the Arkansas Museum of Natural Resources. In the 1920s, in 1922 to be exact, an oil field was discovered in this area, which made this town a boom town, growing from a population of 100 to 25,000 in a short time. And here are some realistic displays at the museum. Look, there are two guys working at some sort of contraption to pump the oil. But the really amazing thing they did here at the museum is to create a street scene here of a boom town like smack over that has experienced an oil rush much like many little places in california prospered during the gold rush this is really cool how they decorated this street scene there's a cafe there's a jail and there are all these little areas that branch off and you can walk through and this is like a labyrinth there is a collection of gas pumps and there's lots of interesting stuff to see Really, I had trouble finding my way out of this place because there's so much to see and it branches off. Hey, there's Smokey Bear. He can't be missing. This one is pretty interesting. It's a little calf with two heads. Can you see that? This calf was born on a farm in Calhoun County, not far from where this museum is, in the early 1900s, and it's said to be true. This looks like a jail cell on wheels. That's very practical to have a jail that you can move around with your prisoners in it. This is a very interesting museum. The Arkansas Museum of Natural Resources in Smackover, Arkansas. I've seen stuff I've not seen before. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it.